All right, let's do our solar panel intro video. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's right. There's our intro. This here for everybody is going to be a little series that tells how we're making our 11.4 kilowatt solar panel system. <laughs> so we have 50 of these panels or 270 watt and we are actually only going to use 48 which is going to make about 13 point five or 13,500 kilowatts of solar panels to make an 11.4 kilowatt system all right so stick with us and we'll be back for more this is solar build number two for us and we are going to do a series here that's going to show you from start to finish how we by ourselves we can get no help from no experts build a solar system cheap real cheap so we got these from eBay these are used solar panels now it's out in the middle of nowhere here so we don't really care if it produces 100% of its power that's not what we're worried about babe why don't you go show them our other system on top of our house right there there's our first one so we got that on the house it's working great that averages about at its peak during the summer it was doing about eight to nine kilowatts per hour averaging 60 to 70 right now we're probably averaging about 50 kilowatts per day so it's doing excellent not quite enough because why because we grow giant pumpkins right over there is our greenhouse yeah and I like power I need more power I got to keep them cold we're in Kansas it's hot we get tons of humidity and then in the summer it's cold on winter it's cold so I want to try to be able to heat and cool that using nothing but electricity so that's another thing we might be showing you later and uh, if you know anything about heating or cooling a greenhouse well cooling is, is not very easy you just don't really do it most people say and heating well you don't heat it unless you have propane so I'm going to try to go against the grain. We're trying to do everything with, with uh, electricity. And the way that I know how to do it, the only way that I can think to do it, is building this. So here it is, step one. That's our first step. We're going to show you kind of through the process of how we do it. Here's our solar panels. Right over here is where we're going to lay it out. So we measured our solar panels. That was the first thing. Took the measurement. And then we knew how many we're going to lay out. We're laying uh, 12 of them, I believe, or 11. 11 by, no, it's 12. So we're going to lay in 12 of these solar panels. Vertically, is that the way this is? And then horizontally, we're having four. So it's going to be a 12 by four. And you can see our first post is way down there. Our second post is right here, 76 feet. So then the other thing that we did, if you want to come over here, we took a measurement from that post to this post, which is 76 feet. We knew how far it was over to here, which was 121 and a half inches or something like that. So we put a post or a marker in the ground here. We put another one down there. And then to get it so that it's straight, you measure from that post there to this here. You get a measurement and then you do the same thing from this post here in the ground to that one. So that's the first step. So then you level that out. Once you get these two numbers to be the same, well, then you know you're square. So this was like, uh, I can't remember how many feet, like 76 feet, 5 inches. And this one's 76 feet, 5 inches. So you get those two measurements, put them down, then we're square. Now the next step is to get your tiller out and till a hole here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that post in the ground. We're going to put this post in the ground. And once we get these two posts put into the ground, we're going to take our measurement again. Make sure it's level, make sure it's, it's exactly 76 feet from that post, the outside of that post, to the outside of this post. All right? So that's first step. We'll show you the next one.
Okay, so you saw before that we had one down there, one post down there, and then we had another post here, and it actually ended up being uh, 76 feet, one and a half inches. So we got these two, we know they're straight because we measured it earlier. Now, when we're using our post hole digger to dig each of the holes, they're round and these are square. So when it digs down, it's not gonna be perfect. So we're just getting it all lined up exactly where we need to be. We know that the distance between the panels is gonna go from the top there. It's gonna be at about a 40 degree a angle or so, angle. and it's gonna come down here. And that's like a hundred and I don't know, a hundred and some odd inches. I can't remember exactly what it is, but we have the mark. So we know that on this one here, it needs to be a hundred and some odd inches. So now we got this here. Now we need to put a last post or fourth post right down there where the last peg is. We're going to dig our last hole and we're going to make sure that this is as close to 100 or 76 feet, one and a half inches from here to that one. And that should give us a pretty darn good square thing, uh, a uh, pay, uh, foundation to work with. So that's where our, our foundation is going to be. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So now what I want to do is show you exactly what we were talking about, how to make it square. So we know our, we measured it this way, we measured it this way. We had all of that. And now in order to square it up, you take a point on that side. Go ahead and show her mom. She's holding it right there and come diagonal to this one. And we get, pull it tight, come over here, Elsie. And this is uh, 76 feet, three inches. You can see it right there, 76 feet, three inches. Three now inches. we do the exact same thing on the other post. So show where mom's at now, down over there, okay? So we wanna make it as square as possible. And we're at 76 feet, three and a half inches, right here. Okay, come show me. So we're at 76 feet, about three and a half inches right there. So we know we're about a half an inch off. So we just need to make sure that that one gets pulled in. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go put that one in the ground and call it good. Okay, so now we got our two posts on that end and our two posts, that one, and this one right here, all put in. So we got our triangle. A rectangle, sorry. We got our rectangle. We know it measures perfectly because we did our cross measurements. So now what we're going to do is figure out a straight line from the two tall posts. So the way that I do that is get you a string and you tie it onto that post and then you come over here and you tie it onto this post on the back side of it so that it's on the far side. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So I use fishing line, tied right here, and it goes all the way down to that one. So what that allows us to do is you get two options. One, you tie a fishing string on, or otherwise you get a buddy to stand right here. You measure off your post every 10 feet, and you tell, the buddy tells you whether or not it's straight. Well, if you don't have a buddy, get you a line, just like that, right here, here it comes. There you can see it. You measure 10 feet, say that this is your 10 foot. You pop a hole right here, you know it's straight because the back end of the board should be right there, leaning up against it, all right? So we'll go ahead and I'll get popping our post. This is the easiest part. The hardest part was before where when you find have to find your triangle, make sure everything is straight, not crooked. That's, that's your tough part. Now it's simple. You got a simple string. You just measure 10 feet in between each post because I'm using 10 foot boards to connect them. Pop your post, do it for the front side, do it for the back side, both ways, all right? I'll get to drill in here and we'll see what it looks like in a little bit. Okay, well here we are. So you just saw we had originally our four posts in the ground and now we got our entire bottom section of our frame made. So once again, this is gonna be the cheapest way possible that we can figure out how to make this. So right here, we got nine posts in the ground on both sides. We know what our angle is gonna be because if you could look it up online for solar, you'll find out that there's a wide range. You know, you go to your area, there's a solar calculator, they'll give you 
you can go from 28 degrees to like 70 degrees in our area we know that our latitude is like 39 degree 39.4 degrees or something like that so they say with solar you want to have it about that angle that kind of gives you a, a good start so we're going to come down here from about two feet off the ground to a little over eight foot off the ground at an angle that's probably going to be about a 40 degree angle so that's why the front ones are down low the back ones are up good and high so there's your frame you get to this point then you're ready to lay your wood so that'll be the next thing and also you can start building your solar panels so i'll show you what i have with our solar panels